Our way about here to start us off, Diana Belbita and Maria, Maria Oliveira sitting at even money on both sides, over under two and a half rounds, minus 266 for the over, plus 266 for the under. Quite the layoff for Diana Belbita. She's been off uh, since her last loss, which was against Gloria DePaula, and that was February of 2022. So it's, it's a month or a year and uh, about four months. And uh, she's one in three in the UFC, so she might need a win here. Uh, her only win is to hand a Goldie. And I got to say, it, it hasn't been the, the best run for her. Um, if you look at Maria Oliveira, who's one and two in the UFC, her only win is to Gloria DePaulo by split decision. That was last June in uh, Austin, Texas. And then she lost to Vanessa Demopoulos. Both girls are long. Both girls are decent strikers. Both girls probably want to keep it on the feet. And uh, both girls don't have a lot of power. So I'm looking at this one. It's like probably going to be a 15-minute uh, fight. And it's probably going to be a stand-up battle. Um, and it's a pick em. So I don't really see value on either side. So it's kind of like flip a coin and, and pick one. Um, but I'm looking at this one. I don't know, man. I got a feeling Diano Belbita. I mean, there's at least something to get behind there. She's been off for a, a little bit of time. Maybe she's gaining uh, some momentum, getting better. Um, and she also trains. I believe she trains in Canada. So it's like somewhat of a home, home field advantage for her. So I'll take her. But like nobody could tell me anything about this fight. That's like, all right, she's going to win because of this, <laughs> this, and this. Like, no, this is a, this, this, this is, the definition of a coin flip. You're literally getting even money on either side. Uh, I mean, if you like a, a certain girl, take it. If you don't like it, just lay off uh, because it's probably pretty properly priced. What do you think? Yeah, this is the fight where you just play pin the tail on the donkey. You go up and you slap it on something if you have to have a bet on this fight. Because, dude, you look at the stats on these girls, they're identical almost all the way down to, you know, their takedown averages are identical. Um, significant strikes. Both of them land just as many, if not a little bit less than they take. Uh, so it, it's crazy. Like this fight should play out on the feet for sure. Um, you look at Oliveira, 13 and six. You look at Belvita, 14 and seven. That's close too. Like this is your typical split decision. This is going to be whoever looks a little bit better than the judges. Um, both girls have decent volume though. Both girls are like decent strikers. Like you mentioned, not much power on Oliveira's side where Belbita, I think holds just a little bit more power, which uh, I think that's something to get behind there. Like if this is going to be a dead, even fight on the feet um, with judges being the way they are, you're going to be wanting to hold the ticket of the girl who hits a little harder, has a little snap on her shots, going to do a little bit more damage. I think that is Belbita. And uh, at the end of the day though, man, if you can find a split decision prop at like plus 200 or more, I would jump all over it for this one. That's where I'm at, too. For the sake of the show, I'll take Belbita here um, to kick us off on the night. Yeah, I will say, Oliveira, her fights in the UFC has been to, like, a little bit better competition. Um, yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I look at Belbita's fights, like, a lot of those, like, the Hannah Goldie one um, wasn't, like, any great win. The Paula fight, I think, might have could have gone either way. Look at Oliveira. Her only win is by split decision. The Demopolis fight, a lot of people didn't think that uh, Demopolis beat her. So she could be coming in here 2-1 uh, and one in the UFC. And her only loss before that was to Tabitha Ricci, who's right. pretty solid. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll go with Belbita as well. Uh, if she is a little home game for her and you get a little something to, to get behind with the time off. So I'll take her. It's greasy. Very greasy. Probably one to just lay off and, uh, you know, maybe start the night a little bit later. You know, you <laughs> yeah. don't have to like catch the first fight or anything, but 